Hey, what's up guys, Zach here. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Epic Skate 3 Challenges, a series where I take some of your guys' craziest challenge and trick requests in Skate 3 and try to do them in Skate 3. I guess the title of this series is pretty self-explanatory, but anyways, today we are on episode 10, which is pretty awesome, but I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get straight into the Epic Skate 3 Challenges. The first challenge we have is from Majeb Guy. They say you should do a backflip or front flip over 20 cars. So for those of you who saw Epic Skate 3 Challenges 9, you would know that I did an ollie over 10 cars. So now, I guess we're trying to double the amount of cars and also add a much more difficult trick. Rather than ollie, we're going to try to do a front flip or backflip. So let's go build a park and we will try it. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we have it. 20 taxis lined up from tail to tip and we have two ramps on either side we're actually gonna try to do a front flip or back flip over all 20 cars now feel free to pause the video if you don't believe me and count the cars but there are 20 all right we're gonna start on this side on this side we actually have more of a run-up because we have this alleyway so that's kind of nice so we're gonna try to do this uh, I haven't really decided between front flip or back flip yet so I think we're just gonna kind of go with the flow whatever whatever my fingers decide to do at the time is what we're gonna end up doing Throw the board down, set our marker about here. Uh, we're gonna be using the insane speed glitch, as I said, because that's pretty much the only way this is gonna be possible. All right, let's line up a little bit better, and let's see if we can just do this on our very first try. Yep, there it is, everyone. The insane speed glitch 2018. You know, it doesn't always work the first time. That's that's what I've learned with life, but there we go. Now we got the speed glitch. Not a great one, though. We're gonna do a fakey front flip, which kind of looks like a back flip, but we made it about six or seven cars in, maybe. Oh, man. All right. We have a long ways to go. Oh, that's a lot of speed. Oh, my gosh. We went the complete wrong way. We definitely got the distance, though. We just did not line it up very well. And go. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Oh, we went way too far. Wow. All right. Well, at least we know we can get the distance. We just need a slower speed glitch, I guess. We're going to keep doing this speed glitch, but we just need to get a slower variant of it. And go. Oh, no. That's not lined up. All right. Hold on. And go. Oh, there's lined up a little bit. There's the flip. Oh, not quite. We made it about 19 and a half cars, and it wasn't lined up anyway. This is actually harder than I thought it was going to be. It's it's like more than just the speed. It's lining it up and not getting too much speed. All all in one. This is an all-in-one challenge. Oh, that's nice, actually. That looks like a really good amount of speed. Oh, not quite. We actually cleared most of the cars, but we need to get height, and we still need to continue to line it up. Yes! Oh, I didn't want to say anything because I wasn't sure, but that was it. Yes! All right. Okay, we got to watch this one back. That was awesome. That was, oh, that was so clean. All right. Let's watch it in slow-mo first just to see what happened. There we go. We went straight to fakey, so that would make this a fakey front flip, but it kind of looks like a back flip. So, I mean, you can really call it whatever you want. It was a front flip and a back flip at the same time, but, oh, beautiful landing, and then... Somehow I managed to do some tricks going super fast without bailing. You know, I'm actually just as proud of these tricks at the end. Those were, those were nice. All right, let's take a look at this full speed because we definitely got to see that one again. We're going to watch it from all the way back here just so you can see the scope of how big this trick was. Oh my gosh, that was so nice. All right, I'm really happy with that. That is the first challenge completed for this episode of Epic Skate 3 Challenges. Let's move on to the next one. Our next challenge comes from e Nimation. They say, do a laser flip to 5-0, varial heel, front flip out. That is... That is quite the line. All right, because it says front flip out at the end, I think we're gonna have to make a custom park for this one as well. I'm trying not to do every single challenge at a custom park, but the one after this is not at a custom park. It's actually gonna be at the Super Ultra Mega Park. So for this one, I think it's okay that we create another custom park. Okay, let me build something real quick. I'm just gonna put a platform up here. I just need a space to front flip out basically, but the hardest part of this trick is going to be the varial heel front flip out. I'm not even sure. I know how to do that, but we're just going to try it. So let's set this up and then we're going to put a rail along the end of this. What kind of rail should we use? That's really, that's really the question, huh? Okay. Before I place the ramp, let's just see how this is going to work so like that. And then, oh my gosh, this is, this is going to be so hard. This doesn't seem like it would be as hard as the last challenge because it's not as big. 
But oh my gosh, that was a very old kick flip. I don't even I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. All right, laser flip. Nope. Laser flip to 5-0. Okay, or Willy. You know, backside Willy 5-0. Pretty much the same thing. Here we go. Laser flip to 5-0 to varial kick. Why do I keep doing varial kick flips? I already hate this line so much. It's gonna look really cool though. Very oh well, I varial flipped in. Varial flip out, and then does it say front flip? Oh, it does say front flip. All right, we're gonna have to do a front flip. Back flips are a lot easier from that spot, but let's put a ramp down just because if I get it, I wanna make sure there's actually a ramp there that I can land on. I don't really know where to put these at all, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, and then we'll adjust once I actually kind of figure out where I'm gonna land, but for now, this will probably do. I also want to put a uh, lower ramp at the bottom just so that I can ride away smoothly from this should I actually figure out how to land it. Okay, first try with everything in place. Laser flip to 5-0 to heel flip front flip. All right, actually this might be easier than I thought. I did everything except for the varial heel flip. So let's see if I can do it right here on my second try. No cuts, nothing fancy. Laser flip. Oh, no, that was a back flip. What? I don't even... How did I back flip there? I literally hit the buttons to do a front flip, so I don't really know how that even happened, but it looks like it's going to be possible, which is good. This might be the easiest challenge of the episode. Laser. Nope, that was a 360 flip. I don't know what I'm doing, and none of... none of... Hopefully this will be the easiest challenge of the episode. We're going to laser flip, we're going to 5-0, we're going to varial heal. Why are you back flipping? Wait, why does it say... It says front flip in the trick thing. But clearly this is a backflip. Watch this. All right, laser, 5-0, varial heel. And then my guy, that is very clearly a backflip. But the skate three keeps saying it's a front flip. So we're gonna try to do a backflip and see if it looks like a front flip. Laser flip, 5-0, varial heel, front flip. Ah, I didn't land it. If anyone knows why Skate 3 is like glitching out and saying I'm doing, like look, I'm pulling back and it says backflip, but that was clearly a front flip. Unless I'm, unless I'm missing something very obvious. That looks like a front flip, but it's calling it a backflip. I don't know what's going on, but if you know, let me know in the comments. But for now, boom, let's land it. No, that time it actually did a backflip. It's, it seems like every time I do the varial heel out, it's backwards. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully this will be the easiest challenge of the episode. The only problem is I need to actually try to do a backflip. Yeah, what? Okay, well there it is. I landed it, but that, it said backflip and it looked like a front flip, but I used the buttons to do a backflip. Does anyone know why that happens? It seems like only when I varial heel flip out does that happen. It says, because that right there said I did a backflip, but I think we can all agree that that was a front flip. But anyways, let's, let's watch this one back. Let's watch this one more time at full speed. We got... The laser flip to 5-0, to varial heel, to front flip, to the ramp. Pretty nice. All right, that was fun. Wasn't too difficult of a challenge, but that's good because the next two are going to be a little bit harder. The next challenge comes from Mike Laverte. They say, yo, Zexy Zek, this is a challenge I've been trying since the day Skate 3 was released. Just before the bowl, at the end of the Super Ultra Mega Park, there's a huge wooden ramp. Pause the video at 3.30. You'll see the one I mean on the left of the screen. Find a way to clear the whole thing from the other side and land in the final bowl. So I do know where he is talking about. He's talking about a really big gap down near the final bowl that I've definitely never even tried. But basically, he wants to see someone gap from here all the way to the other side of this part so just in case you're still confused gap over all of this and land on this side basically so we need to gap this entire thing now i'm not sure if he means to try to do this like legit without a speed glitch or if a speed glitch would be fine he says find a way to clear the whole thing so I don't know, let's try it without a speed glitch first, just to see if we get anywhere close. And if it's looking like it's not looking too good, then maybe we'll try to use a speed glitch. But the most speed I can think about possibly getting is from using this spot. I mean, how could you ever get more speed than that? Yeah, that wasn't even close. So I can see why he says he's sunk hundreds of hours into it. Let's see, there's another spot I know of that we might be able to use. It's like here, and then I think I'm gonna barely miss it. Yeah, okay. So you go from this ramp right here, and then you gap down to here. I don't think this is going to be any faster than the other one, though. Yeah, we're not even getting remotely close, I feel like. There's one, maybe one more spot we could try. This super down rail right, or not down rail, down ramp right here. Uh, we'll just try to do a trick into it to get max speed, but I feel like even this is not going to be nearly fast enough 
to gap this entire thing. We're making it to there most of the time. Ugh, you know, maybe at some point I'll be able to figure out how to do it without a speed glitch, but just because we do have some other challenges to get to in this episode, let's just try to do it with a speed glitch, because I'm sure we can probably figure that one out. I could have done this in my massive gaps video, but if you guys want to see me try this, maybe I'll make a whole video dedicated toward it, because that would be a pretty cool gap of trying to do this without the speed glitch. Let me know, and maybe I'll try that video sometime. All right, we got some speed here. Oh, okay, not quite, not quite. So even the speed glitch is making this difficult. That, that's not good. All right, let's try to get a good speed glitch here. Okay, for some reason, I'm struggling right now to get this speed glitch and go. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Please just, oh my gosh, what is going on? Just, please, oh my gosh. Okay, you know, that was maybe, maybe too much speed. You gotta be careful what you wish for sometimes. Oh, that's a good speed. Nope, never mind. What do I know? Oh, well, that's a good amount of speed, actually. Oh, could this be it? Oh my gosh, so close. I'm not gonna count that one. We didn't make it to the downward sloping part, but we made it to the top, so clearly this is going to be possible, but we just need slightly more speed. Oh my gosh, okay, when I said slightly more speed, that's not what I meant. Oh my gosh. Nice. I think this is it. Come on. Yes. All right. We made the gap. That's a pretty cool spot. I really like that, actually. I definitely want to try to do it without the speed glitch at some point. I'm not sure if that's even going to work because I tried it a few times, but I'm just glad we landed this because that was actually a really cool spot. I'm glad I got this comment. So let's watch it back real quick. Just see. So let's watch this back one more time. We start with the speed glitch and then we go off it fakey. Little heel flip right there, pull out of the tail walk. And that was pretty clean. We landed right where I wanted to on the ramp and you can see we had a ton of speed left over because of how high we went. But that was fun. A little part of me is upset that we had to use a speed glitch to do it though. And I, it's gonna bother me, but I don't think we're gonna fix that in this video. I think that'll have to be for a future video. But if you guys can figure out how to do this without the speed glitch, please send it to me on Twitter or Instagram at ZexyZek. I love seeing the videos you guys send me. So if you do, I really wanna see it. All right, let's get into the final challenge of the episode. We actually have two comments that are pretty similar, two different challenges that I'm going to combine into one challenge. So Noah Chase says, wall ride into a grind. And Animation Guy 23 says, wall ride into a nose manual. So I thought, Thought, hey, why don't I just try to do a wall ride into a grind into a nose manual? So we kind of got three different tricks going on right there. I think it'll be pretty fun. Now, there is a pretty popular wall ride to grind spot, so we're going to go there. All right, so this is the spot. We have a wall right next to this rail, so we're going to try to wall ride probably pretty far down and eventually jump off and get into a grind. Now, because the comment says wall right into a grind, not a slide. Uh, I'm gonna try not to land it in a board slide or a lip slide because that would probably be the easiest thing to do. But maybe we can get a crook or a smith or a feeble or something. We'll, we'll try to land it in a grind and then we're going to try to get out of the grind and land in a nose manual. This one's gonna be pretty fun. I never really do uh, wall rides at all. So this is actually kind of uh, a first for me. I assume I can just jump onto the wall like that. Yeah. Perfect. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. You kind of have to just like slam yourself into the wall like that and then into a grind like there. All right. All right. I saw a lot of people commenting wall ride into a backflip. Now that would be insane. I don't know if that's possible though. Oh my gosh. I almost got into a board slide there, but I did earlier say that I didn't want to do a board slide. But if we have to start with that, that's fine. You know, you always got to start somewhere. This is not, this is not working out so far. Let me tell you. Yes! Oh my gosh. All right. I got Oh man, I was not ready for that at all. So I didn't land it in a nose manual, which was like most of the challenge, but oh my gosh, we actually did the wall ride to grind. I was just like messing around. I did not think that was going to work. I was just trying to find the best spot on the wall to jump off of, and I guess I found it. So let's see what happened. I kick flipped and then I did like a 180 into like a, what do you, what would you even call that? I really don't need, it's like a switch Smith maybe? Switch feeble? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, and then I kind of panicked here. Heel flipped. I needed to land it in a nose manual, but instead I just kind of 180 down. All right. We need to do that, but land it in a nose manual. Okay. Oh, come on, nose manual. Yes, there it is. All right, that was cool. That was really fun. All right, that was one of the more fun challenges I've done. That, 
That one took a little time, but it was definitely rewarding in the end. That was sweet. Let's take another look at it, of course. We'll start with the slow-mo, and then we'll look at it full speed, but... If I hop onto the board, let's see, nice little wall ride. I kind of found like a sweet spot. I jumped off there, nice little heel flip into a fit. Well, actually, what would you even call that? It was like a heel flip 360 to crook and then 50-50 and then feeble. And, you know, there was just a lot going on there. And then I, what the? Guess I did an inward heel flip out for, oh, 360 inward heel flip out, okay. And then, oh, into the nose manual. Excellently executed. Let's take a look at that one full speed. That was cool. That was fun. I really enjoyed that last challenge. But anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of Epic Skate 3 Challenges. Make sure you guys let me know down in the comments if you have any challenges you'd like to see me try. I kind of struggled to find enough challenges for this video, so make sure you guys are letting me uh, know what challenges you guys have in Skate 3. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys. Barbara Streisand. Doo -doo -doo -doo.